All right, <clears throat> my name is Manuel Bonilla, and today I'm presenting my semester-long project. So for my semester-long project, um, it is on the business plan, but before I get into that, I want to talk a little bit about myself. Um, my family migrated from El Salvador before I was born. I was the first one who was born here in the United States. Um, my family, my, uh, my parents migrated uh, with nothing but their clothes on their back, uh, literally. That's all they came with, was just their clothes. And they came to the U.S. for a better life, a better opportunity, and just to uh, help my family uh, become better people, you know. Um, and they were the stereotypical Mexican family. Um, they would work day in and day out, making ends meet, uh, just working to barely make it by through the week. And it was tough, man. It was really tough seeing my family go through all that. And, you know... It sucked even more knowing how much they worked and people didn't see them as incompetent, you know. Um, people saw them as just that stereotypical family, you know, that were just trying to make it make it by. And it sucked, you know, because my parents worked really hard for what they have and they valued what they had. Um, so growing up, I kind of wanted had that mentality of wanting to make a name for ourselves, you know, showing the showing showing the world that we made it you know my friends came with not knowing us a word in english to you know buying their first home um all my all my siblings going to college and you know i always had the mentality that i want to make a name for ourselves so people know who we are and not think of us just as that typical mexican or hispanic or latino family you know um so the way i thought of making a name for ourselves is by coming up with a business you know coming up with multiple businesses so people could know us you know people know who we are and where we what we struggled and how, where we came from so and at the same time i want to create uh, this business so i can hand it down for generations to come for my nephews my siblings or my future kids you know having a job is cool but having a business that you're able to pass down that's something special and that's what i'm looking for you know and that's what i that's what i want to go for so um, I came up with this business plan with my family. Um, we thought of the of what, what could potentially be a good business here in Pullman. So we came up with Huckleberries. Huckleberries. So pretty much, uh, what is Huckleberries? Huckleberry, Huckleberries is going to be the new up-and-coming coffee shop here in Pullman. Um, it's going to be a casual atmosphere. Uh, we're going to offer great prices. Um, we're going to have dine-in or takeout. We're also gonna offer free Wi-Fi, large tables, so people could come here, gather, have their meetings, um, have their study groups, and you know, just come and hang out, you know, have that cool atmosphere. With this business plan, we did come up with pros and cons that would affect the business. Um, so with that being said, some of the cons that, that me and my family had were, it's gonna be brand new, you know, what is Huckleberries or who is Huckleberries is going to be the biggest questions that everyone's going to be asking. Um, second is going to be the customer traffic. So the customer traffic is going to be very slow in the beginning because it ties back into who is Huckleberries. So that's going to be very tough uh, during the startup months. Uh, third, we came up with the idea of not having a drive through just because we want our customers to come in and we want our customers to see what we have to offer, who we are, and you know, this way they could vibe off the atmosphere that we're providing and they could think of us as their next study place, their next study group and think of us like, you know what, let's go to Huckleberry's because I was in there and hey, it was a nice atmosphere, so it was quiet, they had a big tables. So we want our customers to come in. Um, we don't want, to, want them just to drive through, drive and leave, you know, we want them to come in and get to know us. So that's another, that's a pro and a con at the same time. Um, the last con I have is location, uh, just because that again could be a pro and a con. Uh, it could be a con because it's away from campus. Um, it's inconvenient for college students because the majority of this of the component is college students, so that's gonna be inconvenience. But as but it's gonna be leaned towards older gen older generation, so it could also be a pro as well. So pretty much the target audience. Um, we have in mind is anywhere anywhere from the age of 25 to 50 just because it's gonna be a branch away from the university 
you know, it's going to be a place where grad students, professors, and residents of Pullman can come and have that quiet lifestyle where they could come in here and read, they could study, they could grade papers, or even have study groups, you know. Um, it's going to offer this atmosphere where people could come here and get their work done, you know, just because you could go home and try to get work done, but you have so many distractions. You got chores, you got your kids, you got stuff going on, stuff, people in the house. And so we want to provide a place where people could get stuff done or a place where people could come and relax and have that quiet time for themselves. Um, so that's the target audience we're going for. Not necessarily college students. If college students want to come by, that'd be awesome. This way they could see what we're about. They could have their study groups there as well. Um, but for the most part, it is going to be leaned towards that older generation. So earlier I mentioned the, the cons of the business. Now here are a couple of pros for the business. So first off, like I said, that location could be a con and a pro. Um, it's a pro because it's perfect for our target audience. It's away from campus. Um, the older generation, you know, they kind of want that quiet atmosphere. So, so, that, so the location is perfect for our target audience. At the same time, another pro that we have is going to be variety. Um, just with every uh, typical uh, coffee shop, they have coffee, their pastries, and their smoothies. Um, we want to differentiate ourselves by offering a different type of uh, pastries. We want to offer conchas, which is uh, Mexican bread. We want to offer empanadas, churros. Um, add a, we're trying to add a more diversity within our coffee shop. This way, it will be unique compared to all the other coffee shops. You know, um, when they come to us, they have a more of a variety and it's going to more of a uniqueness that they're going to want to only come to us just because we're going to be the only coffee shop to offer that variety. Uh, third, our is going to be our environment. Uh, it's going to be calm, relaxing. Um, it's going to be a perfect meeting place for people who want to get stuff done. Um, like I mentioned before, um, people want to come here just because they know they're going to get their stuff done and they know, and they know it's going to be relaxing atmosphere atmosphere and they know it's gonna be quiet you know so that's what we want to offer just a nice place where people could come and get their stuff done it also gonna be kind of have like a shop like environment where people could come in and they could either walk in and take it on the go or they could walk in and you know potentially sit down and just hang out so the environment is gonna be cool it's gonna be um, definitely unique because like I said no drive-through so people are definitely want to are gonna come in and see what we're about. Um, so pretty much with this business, I did create some objectives. Um, one of the objectives that I really want, am uh, super passionate about is awareness, just because it is gonna be a new business, so I do wanna be aware of our consumer awareness. So pretty much my goal is to raise our consumer awareness every six months by 15%. Um, the way I'm gonna track that down is by seeing the traffic flow, traffic flow that comes in to the shop every day. So pretty much see how many times the door opens or how many people come in that day. And I just wanna increase that those numbers by 15, 15% every six months. 15% um, might, not, might not sound that much, but you know I don't expect too much because it is Pullman and it is gonna be hard to uh, reach out to the community. So pretty much I'm gonna have flyers, radio ads and all that good stuff. So every six months I'm gonna come 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 and sit down and figure out where we are and how much we've increased. Another objective that I have is I want to increase sales by 15% every six months as well. I'm gonna be doing the same thing, keeping track of what we sell, what we don't sell, what's popular, uh, what are people asking about, or what are they recommending and so on. So pretty much figure out what um how I should align my inventory to what people are liking is essentially what I'm going to be doing with that. So this way I could keep increasing my sales every, every six months by 15%. So there's two goals that I really want to uh, go by at the beginning. I know I'll add more goals later down the road, but these are the two that I really want to focus on um, in the beginning of this business. So pretty much, what is the personality that I'm looking for for this business? Um, the personality that we're gonna take on is that it's gonna be easy on the eyes. So when people see us or see an ad, um, it's gonna be very visual. They're gonna know what we offer, who we are. 
Um, it's gonna be very straightforward, you know. It's not gonna be a lot going on. It's kind of more simplistic ads. Um, it's definitely gonna be readable. It's gonna be fresh. It's gonna have nice colors to it. Uh, we are gonna change with the seasons with the, for the personality. So our ads are gonna change every season. Our colors are gonna be frequently changing. Um, but the fonts gonna be the same. This way, they know who we are. So something has to be stay the same. Um, it's just gonna have that feel good ad. Um, feel good environment, feel good personality that people are going to want to know us, want to know who we are and what we have to offer. So pretty much uh, these are a few ads that I create, uh, two uh, demo pieces that I created. First off, we are going to offer punch cards because with any typical coffee shop, we got to value our customers and I feel that uh, punch card does that. It adds value to our customers. It shows them that we value their business and we care about them. So we're definitely gonna have a punch card. This is just an example that if you buy nine coffee cups, the tenth one is free. This way, people could you know keep coming to us, keep adding on to the punch cards, and we're also gonna have uh, different promos going on. Like if you come a certain time frame, we'll give you two punches, or if you come a, um, or if you add us on Instagram or Facebook, we'll give an extra punch for free. Uh, that day that you come in so we're gonna have different um, Different promotions going on that's gonna give us um, That's gonna add value to our customers and show them that we care about them and that we want them to come to us for their coffee needs uh, This is just an ad that I created pretty much very simplistic um, It shows that who we are what we have to offer and where we're gonna be at with the phone number as well Like I said, it's gonna be very simplistic very basic um, there is going to be more colors to it and a little bit more graphics to it, but this is just kind of the idea of it or the gist of it that we want to be very simplistic, but yet uh, people know who we are and what we have to offer. Uh, so pretty much with that being said, this is my business idea that I have for here in Pullman. You know, I think it's going to very well be successful um, and I feel, feel that when people come in, they'll definitely know who we are and what we have to offer. And like I said, I want to make a name for ourselves. I want people to come in and get to know us and see what we're about. And I feel that if people know who we are and know what we present, that they'll want to come back and give us their business. At the same time, we want to show value and appreciation to those customers that do come in. Um, other than that, I think uh, it'd be a great business idea here in Pullman, you know. Um, so hopefully uh, we're a success. Um, and if this does come to happen, just know, come on in and we're going to have a cool place to eat, relax and, you know, have good coffee.